Hello, my friend. This is Clyde. Accept your new status. Revelation 1 from verse 4 to 6 says, And from Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. I am inviting you into an emergency meeting. We will not accept any apology for absence. You have to show up. In fact, the meeting is in session, so you will remain in your seat as the main item on the agenda of this meeting is about to be discussed. Do you know who you are? I'm speaking to you and I ask you personally, do you know who you are? It seems that you have been living below your status of late. I get the impression that you have completely forgot who you are and you have been behaving like the servants around here or at times you behave as if you are a walking dead. So I have brought you here today to remind you or to inform you of who you are. Let me take you back to an Old Testament story in 2 Samuel 9. King David sent out a search party to find even one relative of the former King Saul, the first king of Israel. They found a young man named Mephibosheth, a grandson of the late king, and he was lame in both feet and living in a forgotten town named Lodibar. King David ordered that this young man be brought to the palace. When Mephibosheth arrived, he fell to his face, paying homage to King David. He must have been wondering what is going to happen to him. Is he going to be punished, executed for being one of Saul's grandchild? David said something to him that he was not in the least expecting. David said, I will be showing you immense kindness from this day onward because of your father, my best friend, Jonathan. Every acre of land that your grandfather owned is now being transferred to you. Mephibosheth must have been at a loss for words. What is your servant that that you should notice a dead dog like me? Imagine this young man who used to be royalty, but because of circumstances causing him to lose his status, his wealth, his privileges, he now sees himself as a dead dog. He had become a nobody. He was not treated like what he was supposed to be. He had lost everything. So now here he is on the floor in the palace before the greatest and most powerful man in the nation, the king. Now the king is saying that he's going to give me all the land that my grandfather once owned. What a blessing. But what did I do to deserve this? I'm a dead dog. So to what do I owe this honor? Mephibosheth totally lost his understanding of who he is. He heard what the king said, but this doesn't make sense to him. So David continued, Young man, let me explain something to you. This gentleman you see standing here, his name is Ziba, and I have instructed him to assemble his 15 sons and 20 servants to farm the lands you are receiving today, and the produce from those lands will be sold, and the proceeds will be all yours. Young man, I'm trying to tell you that you are being restored to royalty. You might have come in here as a nobody, but as king of this nation, I am upgrading you immediately to the most important family status. Your new status is that you are now a member of the royal family and effective immediately. You will eat your meals not outside, not at the servant's table, but at the royal table for the rest of your life. Your status has just changed. As of today, you are my son. As of today, Mephibosheth, you are royalty. I notice you're quiet, so let me continue. That is a true story, but I shared it with you because you are a parallel with Mephibosheth. 
You were a person living in sin, in a sinful environment among sinful people. You were a nobody until Jesus came and did something great. He set aside his royal status and became a sacrifice and gave his life so that he could redeem you. He has redeemed you. He has made you a new person. You started out as a nobody, but God loved you so much that he moved mountains and jumped through horrible hoops so that he could find you. And once he found you, he brought you out of the darkness you used to live in into what is described as his marvelous light you have new status what is that status you are now royalty you're a member of the royal family of god the text says that you have been brought into a kingdom but let me explain further you could have been made a servant in the kingdom but god went further than that he made you a child of god do you know what that means, my friend? God is the sovereign of the whole universe, and it means that if he calls you a child of God, you are a child of the ruler of this universe. And his book clearly states that if you are a child of God, then you are a heir, heir and joint heir with Jesus. That is your full status. Incontestable, indisputable, unquestionable, irrefutable, unequivocal. Do you get what I am saying? This status is written in God's book and no human being can erase it. So what happens after this meeting? Simple. Behave like royalty. See yourself as royalty. Live in your new status. You have full access to the king. You don't need an appointment. God said you can talk to him directly anytime. As of today, you step out into the real world with the confidence that you are from the royal family of God and your status does not change. Do not misrepresent God by doing things you used to do. Embrace your new status.